Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are at my home and we're actually upgrading my PV system. So the guys are working right now and we are adding more panels to my solar system. I hope to share with you in this video of what it's like when not only you're adding solar panels to your system, but when you're getting solar on your home in general. Hey everyone, what an exciting day. I am actually adding solar panels to my existing system today to help me with additional offset. And what we just did is Eric from our team got here and we're unloading the panels. So we have uh, 19 panels going on this side of the house and in a remain and another uh, 13 panels, I believe going on the other side of the house. And what's great is this is a behind the scenes look at what it's like the day of install. So the first step that happened is just unloading the panels, everybody getting set up. The rest of the crew will be here shortly. That all depends on when the crew gets here, if they're all at the same time or staggered. But right now, um, panels are here getting a base camp set up and our safety zones and everything. And then uh, we're gonna go on the other side of the house and see those other panels unloaded and will progress through the install today. So me is supervising the job site today. So let's get back to work. All right, so just to uh, give you a walk around, just a once over visualization of what we got going on. You can see safety zone set up. We have panels that are stacked over there that are for this side of the roof. And then we have our panels over here that are for this side of the roof. Now we're gonna go on the roof and check out what's going on up there. Okay, so you could see my existing system up here. These are 360 watt sun power panels, AC panels, which means they have a micro inverter behind them. Now they don't make this panel anymore. So what did I have to do? We're adding 425 watt panels AC in this area. So it's not gonna look uh, perfect like this is. When I say perfect, I mean flowing all portrait. So these are all in portrait and we're gonna add panels in landscape down here. So we're gonna do two rows in landscape and then three in landscape right here and then one in portrait right over there. This is something that gets brought up so much and I'm glad we're at this stage right now. A lot of times homeowners always ask, how do you mount into my comp shingle roof are you going to void my warranty? Do you guys just drill holes and forget about it? And do you add any sealant? Do you use any mounts? Let me show you what we do. This is the flashing. This flashing slides under the shingle so you can see how much farther it goes up under there. Then you have an L foot and then you have a lag bolt. So, First thing that happens, we get the nails out that are under here, if there are any. We slide this under. You could see this chalk line right here it means there's a rafter going through. So what happens, since there's a rafter there, the lag bolt goes through there, L foot on top, and that's how we mount to a comp shingle roof so it's watertight and you have no issues down the road. I'll show you one of our guys installing them now. And when these are installed properly, they're weather tight, they don't leak, they withstand the test of time. I believe these have a 25 year manufacturer's warranty on the product itself. And when done properly, there's never anything to worry about when it comes to roof penetrations on your solar system. And I believe in practicing what you preach. This is my home. And if I'm gonna use it on my home, that's what makes it a quality product to use on all of our customers' homes because the last thing we ever want to do is come back to your home for a roof leak. Another thing to keep in mind when we're installing the solar system, we're adding these safety lines. So this is what our crew is working off of. So everyone has their harnesses on and their safety lines. Safety is the most important thing during an install. 
So here's a better view here you could see. We're bringing rails up to the roof right now. That's how, that's how it's done. And this is the other side of my roof. So this side of my roof, a lot more southern facing, better sun exposure. This side of my roof, more northern facing, but I'm willing to uh, take uh, a little bit of a loss on this side to add more power. So you can see what the guys did already. The mounts are down on this side. The chalk lines, you can see all the chalk lines where we laid out the system. Before we put any mounts down on the roof, we're doing chalk lines and doing our full layout. So that's something in the process that I think is really important to be aware of before anything gets laid on the roof, meaning mounts or anything. We're doing chalk lines, measuring it out, doing our distance from the ridge cap, doing our distance from the gutter, doing our fire setbacks on the side, depending on what town jurisdiction you're in. Okay, so right now it's 1043 and we already have mounts down on the roof, rails up. We're gonna get the rails set and then start wire management after that. What is wire management? Wire management is getting the trunk cable for the microinverter system hung on the rail before we bring the panels up. So the next thing I'd like to show is our conduit run that we have going on here. So my original install, I ran all Romex through the attic and I had a chase going through the center of the house where we pulled all of our strings so I had no exterior conduit. But now we spray foamed everything, everything is closed off. So I have to have exterior conduit for my add-on system. So this is also something to keep in mind if you're adding solar to your home. If uh, you did some renovations and you don't have that clearance anymore, you have to use exterior conduit. But here I am, I'm doing it on my home and it's not that big of a deal and you could always paint it after. So let me show you what we did. So I had all these lines on the side of my home. You can see I have my gutter. I also have a gutter around our heat pump line that goes up to the second story bedroom. So that's our conduit. You can see it's a three quarter inch EMT metal conduit. Here it is right here. And that could always be painted after the fact if you wanted to. And that goes straight up. We're going over the overhang and you can see uh, Kevin's up there now. He's going to be bending that and coming around the overhang of the roof. So if this isn't done, this is a work in progress right now, but just wanted to give you an idea of the conduit run. And then what we're going to have to do is come into the basement here. So as you come through here, you see our three Tesla power walls, our span smart panel, our Tesla gateway. This is our panel that combines the PV and the power wall breakers. And this is just our combiner for the solar breakers. So what we're going to do is move our sun power monitoring box over, add an additional combiner, and then that breaker from the new combiner is going to land right in here with our power wall system. So you'll have power wall breakers, our current solar breaker, and we're going to add one more solar breaker to the bottom of it. And that's going to complete the add-on system to our existing system. Um, since the conduit's coming on that side of the house, we're gonna have to cut through the ceiling because we're gonna have to punch out of the wall here to bring that conduit in. And then we'll hug the basement wall and drop down right over here. All right, so you can see in the basement that Eric and Alex are moving over the monitoring box and they're adding a combiner panel for our add-on system. And this is something that we'll have to do sometimes when adding a system on to either make more room, um, we'll add a combiner panel, or hopefully there's enough spaces in the existing combiner panel where we don't even have to add um, any equipment. So when I say combiner panel, basically that's a sub panel that just houses our solar breakers. Uh, that combines our strings of solar breakers. Usually, depending on the, the panels that we're using, we have strings of 12. So if you have a sh one string of 12 panels coming off the roof, that's going into one breaker in the combiner panel. And if you have another string of 12 panels coming off the roof, that also goes into the combiner panel. All right, so just a little update on the roof work. You could see the rails are now mounted to the L-feet. 
you can see the hardware that we used here. And then over here, you can see the trunk cable. This is the trunk cable that's gonna get mounted to the rail. And this trunk cable is what you plug uh, the microinverters into in the back. So the end phase microinverters get plugged into this trunk cable and this all gets mounted to the rail. So you can see the way Frank is doing it. He's got the UV rated zip ties and he's putting the trunk cable on the rail. And then these pigtails right here are, are gonna come up and plug into the panel. Wire management is really key when doing a solar install. So you can see all of the trunk cable right now, it's laying on the roof, but we're gonna connect this all to the rail. So guys, I'm here with Eric from our team and Eric just added the new combiner panel for our additional solar, moved over the monitoring box for our sun power monitoring and just did our conduit run coming in from outside. Eric, can you take us through it a little bit? What, what you wound up doing? Well, basically we just added a bag foot breaker to your main box that also has your power walls in it also. And then easy enough, just adding a combiner panel right here, you know, with the four strings that you need for the three other panels that you have. And then what's pretty cool is right now, what time is it? It's 3.11. Eric was the first one here today. We're unloading the panels together. Yeah. Or Mia was unloading the panels with you. And I would have gotten done sooner if I was able to not have that appointment. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. so here it is. Right now it's three o'clock in the afternoon and we yeah. the job is set. And what he's doing right now is commissioning the systems. He's claiming those additional microinverters to our monitoring system and then it's going to capture all of the data of the production so and you have that too now it's yeah. all spliced together and set so and then there. there it is right there setting successfully apply it so this is the work down here so you saw it earlier in the day check it out now move that over that looks great coming into the trough combiner panel for solar, another combiner panel for solar, and then both breakers landing in uh, this panel, which has our Tesla power walls, which are all of our 30 amp breakers, and then our breakers for the solar at the bottom. So that's down below. Now let's go check it out on the roof and see uh, the work that was done up there. All right, so check it out. There it is. There's the additional panels up there. 425s mixed with the 360s and the crew made it look seamless. Let's go, Frank. Unbelievable. Thank you, Clever. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I know it's hot today. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, it's a wrap on the day. Look how beautiful this looks here. Two rows in portrait. You can see the vent pipe right there. We have a space for it. Then on this side, you can see over here. So here it is. We added some solar. And now, got to energize this system, fire it up, and uh, hopefully offset more of my power here and uh, power this home with more sunshine. That's the goal at the end of the day. Stop paying the utility company and start paying yourself by putting solar on your roof. So thank you to the New York State Solar Farm crew I love those guys. It's amazing what our team does on a daily basis, doing the most quality installs that they could possibly do. If you're interested in doing something like this on your home, you can reach out to us in the link in the description below. And if you found this video useful or helpful throughout your solar journey, maybe you're in California watching this or Texas or somewhere else, and you're thinking about adding solar to your home, hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be great. We will talk to you later, signing out.